It's Friday, November 1st. Ravelry Week isn't just about football. Why are teachers wearing pie? And what's your best witch laugh? All of this and more on this edition of The Stinger On Air. Good morning, Jackets. I'm Michaela Oakley, and welcome back to The Stinger On Air. Iconic rivalries light up the college football world, like the game Michigan versus Ohio State, the fierce Iron Bowl between Alabama and Auburn, and the Palmetto Bowl clash of South Carolina and Clemson. But in Lancaster County, no matchup gets hearts pounding like Buford and their cross-county rivals, Andrew Jackson. Emmy Johnson tackles the story about rivalry's unique twist. rivalry with Andrew Jackson dates back to 1969 with the Volunteers leading the series 23-16. During game week, Buford Student Council organizes a spirited rival week featuring dress-up days and a pep rally. This year, Student Council decided to shake things up and introduce new traditions have designated things that we did, like the blood drive, because PJ did the blood drive too, so that's where we're competing against them. We did a Chick-fil-A Spirit Night on Monday, where us versus AJ, and the proceeds, the winner gets all the money. Kristen Snipes, a student council sponsor, says that the Chick-fil-A Spirit Night was a success with strong support from the Buford community. I think it went well. A lot of people went through the drive-thru, which they could. I was there the whole time and didn't see any AJ people. I'm sure they came through the drive-thru, but not as many as our Beaver people. Like, Beaver came and showed out. Snipe says she wouldn't change a thing about the Spirit Week, but hopes to give even more back to the community in the years ahead. In the future, I, I hope that we could add something where we give back more to the community. I'm not sure what that would look like, but to be able to give back would be great. Snipes proudly brags on the Buford community, saying they'll do whatever it takes to be AJ. I think this has been great for our community because our community is all about coming together. And, you know, some of these, this rival is really deep. So if you tell your parents, your grandparents, your aunts, uncles, whoever, we've got to be AJ, they're like, yeah, we do what we need to do. We need to go to Chick-fil-A, let's go to Chick-fil-A. Let's do what we have to do. I have people show up from you know, even when I went to high school here last night, that I saw it, like, yeah, I'm giving me for, so. For Stinger On Air, I'm Amy Johnson. This past Saturday, our Beta Club hosted their annual trunk or treat event for the children in the community. Students in Beta set out their trunks with various decorations and were decked out in Halloween spirit as they handed out candy to children and parents who stopped by for the event. To celebrate Halloween, approximately 300 students from Buford Elementary School came over to BHS to trick or treat. First block classes brought candy to hand out as the elementary students roamed the halls in their Halloween best. They were greeted by the staff dressed in costumes such as Harry Potter, The Wizard of Oz, Bluey, and more. The little ghosts and goblins also had story time with Beta Club members. Over 600 students from across the region auditioned for the American Choral Directors Association, including 14 from our school. One BHS student qualified with 18 points to spare. Junior Tabitha Thompson scored a total of 148 points, with a minimum to qualify being 130 for an alto two. The second jacket part of the semester was last Friday. This was an opportunity for students who had no failing grades and didn't know recovery to have some hard-earned fun after our second grading period. During Jacket Pride, winners of the pie contest hosted by Model UN were announced. Mr. O'Neill, Ms. Carter, and Ms. Roof were the winners. If you can call getting a pie to the face a win, watching our teachers being pied was an entertaining way to mark the end of the event. Donating blood is very important because it can save lives, aid in treatments, treat injuries, and many more procedures. This Wednesday, the Blood Connection came to Buford High School for a blood drive hosted by our HOSA program. For many students, this was the first time they've donated blood. In total, 50 units of blood were donated by members of BHS for the event. Congratulations to our HOSA program for raising over $500. Have you checked the website lately? Come on, I'll catch you up. There are two new features on the web. The first one is Traveling Home by Tyler Benton about Mr. Barkman. Then there's a feature about the Stinger's second anniversary by Michaela Oakley. Landon Bryson has also been keeping up with his blog. He has three new submissions called Pride in a Request, Changing It Up, and Jacka Landon. 
There's a new section under People called Show Your Work, where teachers, students, and clubs can showcase their work and activities with two new posts. To wrap it up, there are three new Hivecasts. The Senseless Podcast from Mr. Collier and Landon Bryson, Hardware Hub by Tyler Benton, and When Murder Comes Knocking by Daylin Laney. Make sure to check the website often to stay updated. For Stinger on Air, I'm Tabitha Thompson. Turning to sports, the Lady Jackets volleyball team ended their season Wednesday night in the first round of the playoffs against Greenville Tech. Earlier this week, the ladies golf team also ended their season after competing at the Chester Golf Club. The team finished strong as they competed against other 1A and 2A teams across the state. The girls accomplished several personal goals and records during this tournament. Great job, ladies. It's time for Jackie Culture. Happy birthday to Drew Dutton, whose birthday is today. And Christina Mettinger and Brian Kane, who both share a birthday tomorrow. Make sure to wish them a happy birthday. Today marks the end of Rival Week, which was also Homecoming Week, which was also Red Ribbon Week. But anyway, since that's over, today means we'll have a pep rally. And we've invited some special guests to go over pep rally etiquette. Hey y'all, it's me Cletus. And me Barbara. It's come to my attention that you rap scowling and do a little schooling on how to behave at a pep rally. First things first, you need to make sure you sit with your grade level class. Look up at the wall to see the posters on where to sit. And when you're in the crowd, do not try to act nonchalant. What in tarnation? You mean nonchalant? It just means cheer for our darn school, all right? Show your football players and cheerleaders some support. And during the alma mater, make sure to do the Buford hand sign, a B in sign language. And if you don't know it, Lord, it's in the cafeteria. And when the MC comes out, make sure you're loud, but respectful. <gasps> Last but not least, make sure y'all are wearing school colors, which y'all whippersnappers should be doing anyways for Spirit Week. Anything else? I think that's it. Thank you so much to the Stanger for letting us show y'all how a pep rally is really done. Barbara and Cletus out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks guys. And since we had a pep rally, our homecoming game against AJ is at 7.30 tonight. And since it's homecoming, the theme is now maroon and gold instead of Western. On another note, Veterans Day is coming up. JRTC wants to honor veterans you know by making a wall of stars that will stay up for the month of November. To participate, pick up a paper from the main office and put details of the veteran you'd like to honor, including their name, rank, branch, and your relationship with them. Once you filled it out, turn it into teacher Sergeant Moncano and make sure to ask him if you have any questions. The Powder Bluff game has been moved to November 20th at 6.30. Be sure to clear your calendars and come cheer on our players. Also, the grading period ends on November 18th, so make sure you're caught up by then. <laughs> Beta Club is holding their first ever annual turkey trot and the cost to run is $35. Once you register, you'll get a free t-shirt and be entered into a raffle for a Thanksgiving basket. The deadline to sign up is November 6th and for any more questions, contact Ms. Whelan. That's all for this week's Shaggy Culture with Emmy Johnson and Tyler Benton. Thanks, guys. When you think of Halloween, you usually think of things like ghosts, ghouls, and witches. Speaking of witches, what do you think is their most infamous trace of all? Our staff took it to the street to hear your answers. Seeing as Hocus Pocus is one of the most popular Halloween movies, it makes sense that we see witches every Halloween. Besides their broom, their most popular trait is their laugh. So we took it to the street to see the best witch laughs from Buford. Give me your best witch laugh. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I can't do no witch laugh. Oh. Uh -huh. I, uh, 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 there. <laughs> Give me your best witch laugh. <laughs> Give me your best witch laugh impression. Oh my gosh. Hee <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Give me your best witch laugh impression. <laughs> oh no. Trod. Anyways, that's all for this week's Stinger on the Street with Tap of the Thompson and Riley Beckham. <laughs> <laughs> That wraps up this week's episode, but stay tuned to the end for bloopers. And to stay up to date throughout the week, visit our website and social media pages. On our website, there is a contribute button at the top of the homepage and at the end of any posted content. Any donation towards our website maintenance would be appreciated. For Stinger on Air, I'm Michaela Oakley. Since October has come to an end, we wanted to leave you with some of our best bloopers of the month. Oh my god, you're so close. <laughs> yeah. On Friday? Monday is football versus basket. Visit our website and social media. <sighs> They've collected 29 bags so far, but they need 100. Please. <laughs> <laughs> it's for students 16 older to find type. Not that. Halloween is coming up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yes. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, let me pop this first. Bro, what? <laughs> Happy birthday to Joe. Personally, I think mine would be Maps by Yeah Yeah Yeah. So talk about being a boy. <laughs> I'm a boy, and it's hard being a boy. No. <laughs> Kickoff is set for 70. 70. Tabitha, can I see your glasses? Just for a second, I want to be silly. Some, I can't see a thing, bro. Riley Beckham has the story. Good job. Thank you. The blood drive will be here Wednesday, October 30th. To donate blood, I'm sorry, the blood connection will be here. <laughs> They are gonna see this, but like, she's not even in our home. Whatever. <laughs> Second. You did it. I just forgot to record. Are you serious? We are good. I've just been recording. What the heck? I say that every week. I know.